Good morning! If you're new to this channel, hi, it's nice to meet you. My name is Milena. And if you're a returning subscriber, so I am currently a second year university student at Erasmus University Rotterdam, which is in the Netherlands, and I study economics. So you can expect that I know how to budget. It's one, it's actually a large part of my course. If you have watched my other videos, then you do know that I was spending some time with family for the last couple of months. But now, I'm back to my student house. I am living with a few friends, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about student budgeting, specifically how I budget my groceries. So since this was my first week back, I had to get the basics, you know, like olive oil, salt, pasta, rice, things like that. Things that you kind of need for a lot of the meals that you'll make in your student life. And so I was expecting it to be somewhere around like 50 euros, more to the more expensive side of the spending spectrum. On a usual week, I used to spend around 20 to 30 euros per week. So when you first move to your own place, you need to make sure that you have all the good basics to start off. Since I lived here before, I had a few spices and things left over, so I didn't have to buy those, which is great. But usually those things are also included in, I guess, the first week of grocery shopping when you move into your own apartment. All right, so I moved in on a Saturday, and so that coming Sunday, I went out to buy most of the basics, and for that, I went to the Lidl. I have a passion, a love for the Lidl, because I think that's their slogan. It's uh, low prices, high quality, and they, ooh, they really do live up to the name. And so Lidl is the best place for picking up some bread or pastries or grains. Those type of things are usually very low priced there and also of good quality. I personally always get that bio bread that they have, which is really like crunchy crust. And they have this wild machine that if you put it in it, you can choose how like thick the slices are so they can cut it there so that it also doesn't like lose humidity. It's wild. I swear that bread cutting machine at Little is my Disney World. I I think that even if you are in a budget, it doesn't mean that you shouldn't be able to enjoy everything you want to. You just have to go a couple extra kilometers to find your nearest Lidl, but I surely recommend that one as a good base place to go uh, do your grocery shopping. I bought two packets of rice, some hummus, some peanut butter, strawberry jam, um, apple mousse. I'm not quite sure how to say that in English. Apple mousse? Apple puree? Apple puree. Then we had some brown beans, which I just always like to have at home, and some cashew nuts. I got a really big package, and that one pretty much lasts me maybe like two months. So those are all my snacking needs. And then I got a, a kilo of cereal, a cucumber, which was really low priced, so I was, I was kind of excited about that one. Some digestive cookies, olive oil, which is usually one of the most expensive things that you have to buy, but Lidl actually has quite affordable ones and also of good taste. And then since I'm lactose intolerant, I went and got some almond milk, which is also titled almond drink. But to be honest, I don't really like the plant-based uh, milks that they have at Lidl, just because they're usually kind of watered down. For those, for that specific item, I actually go to a different store. But then I got some spaghetti, I got some fusilli, and basically just having a, a variety of pastas at home. I got some tomatoes, that bio bread that they make fresh from their bakery, aubergine, some of those dry biscuits, we call them biscuit, not quite sure, I'll, I'll figure out what they're called. And lastly, I got some flour because I just like having all the ingredients for a cookie at home, just in case. All right, so at the Lidl, I spent 28 euros and 88 cents on that Sunday. And then on Monday, I wanted to get some ingredients for some Asian recipes that I like to make. And so I always go to the Wa Nam Hong supermarket, which is in the Markt Hall. And even though everything in the Markt Hall is extremely expensive, like all the little huts, it's great for tourists because it's like a whole experience. But I wouldn't say that locals like go there on a daily basis. However, this supermarket is extremely affordable. And so every time I go there, I usually get some noodles, Japanese rice, maybe some frozen dumplings. I always make sure to buy Asian sauces in bulk, like soy sauce or oyster sauce, just because I pretty much put them in everything that I, I think needs a little bit of extra flavor. And so on that day, I didn't get any snacks, but they have, oh, they have such good snacks. You know, I don't know if you guys have had those, those uh, shrimp, shrimp chips mm, love those 
And so also for students who eat a lot of ramen or instant ramen, they have great variety there. So that's a, a place to hit up, I guess. All right, and so at this supermarket, I think my biggest pro tip would be that this is the place where you should get tofu. If you eat tofu, um, they have great options, but also very affordable ones. I bought a kilo of tofu for around a euro. And I don't know if you're a frequent tofu eater, but that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a good price. We like that. And so that day I picked up one kilo of firm tofu, some pak choy, I think a kilo of pak choy, um, some soy sauce, those really big one liter bottles, which was a little bit more expensive, but will last me I think until the end of the year. So we'll be fine. And then also some Chinese meat. The one thing though that you do need to remember about the tofu is that it usually has a really short validity date. So you are expected to eat like one kilo of tofu within four days. And so make sure that you can eat all the tofu you buy because I've had enough wasted tofu where I was like, maybe I should have eaten this tofu faster. But no, it was just a wild amount of tofu for one person to eat in three days. And at that point, I already had most of the basics. So sauces and grains and all those things. And so on Tuesday, on Tuesday, I went to the black market and the black market, which is basically the farmer's market in front of Markt Hall, that is the gold mine for fresh veggies and fruits. This farmer's market is open on Tuesdays and Saturdays from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. If you ever move into a new neighborhood, do ask around about farmer's market. Usually they do have farmer's markets in like different places. It's just, you know, further away or at a very specific time. And so if you ask locals, they usually can help you out with that one. This is the best place to buy fresh veggies and fruits in bulk. That's one thing you have to remember that you can't buy like a little bit of everything. They usually come in wild amounts. I personally don't eat meat, but this farmer's market is a great place to pick up some chicken or some fish. And so if that's something that you like, I recommend going there because again, it's usually very fresh. And so my pro tip for the farmer's market is that you should go early. As the earlier you go, the better products you can get because people usually, you know, they, they touch everything and then they're like, oh, this one's squishy, we don't want this. And so around, I guess, like 2 p.m., uh, the products that are left over are kind of not the best ones and probably the ones that are gonna go bad sooner than the others. So do go early, I always do. And don't forget to bring your own bags. The first couple of times that I went, I always forgot to bring my own bags. And so I was left carrying a bunch of individual plastic bags. And also just straight up, some of the bags aren't strong enough. And so while you're walking home, they could easily rip. So always make sure that you have a bag with you and always bring an extra one because you're gonna find something that you want. You didn't know that you wanted a kilo of courgette until you saw that one kilo of courgette. So make sure to do that one. And so on that Tuesday, I got some courgette for one euro and they came in those one euro buckets. And so on the farmer's market, you'll start seeing that a lot of people have one euro bags or one euro buckets, which is literally just a bulk buying of vegetables and fruits. You never really know how good they are because, you know, it's in a bucket or it's in a bag, which is kind of intentional since I guess like 20% of what's in it is not going to be edible soon. But the other percentage, I think that's, I think that's pretty okay. Then I got also a bucket of graffiti eggplants, which was also a euro. So this was last week and I still have a lot of vegetables left over. As long as you store them in your freezer or your refrigerator, they honestly last so long. Then I also got some spring onions for a euro fifty, which I share with my roommate. And then also some apples, which were one euro something. I'm, I'm gonna say one euro fifty. And yeah, that basically covered all the basic vegetables and, and fruit that I wanted to pick up during the farmer's market. And so by Tuesday, I had basically everything that I needed to make complete meals. But on Friday, I went to Kreiswald. And Kreiswald was where I picked up a lot of my snacks. See, in the Netherlands, Kreiswald is basically the miscellaneous of stores. You can buy anything there. A yoga mat, cookies, crack. You can't buy crack. I need to specify this. You cannot buy crack at Kreisfeld. And so I usually go there for rice crackers or cookies or, well, I'm lactose intolerant, but they're also a great place to pick up chocolate. A 
Okay, so my friend just arrived because we're gonna have lunch together, so I'm gonna need to pick up the pace. Boy. This is Vivian, and Vivian's gonna let me finish the video. And so on Friday, I also went to the Aldi, which is a very, very cheap store, and it basically has a variety of things. Specifically, they have a lot of sauces, like barbecue sauce, garlic sauce. And so I picked up a wrap, a packet of wraps for 80 cents, and that brought my total to around 46 euros and 38 cents for my first week back, which was more or less what I expected. If you live in the Netherlands or you have come to the Netherlands, you might realize that I didn't mention Albert Heijn. And the Albert Heijn is basically the largest supermarket chain in the Netherlands. But I usually don't buy a lot of things from there just because a lot of products that they have, I feel like I can find in a different place and for a much more affordable price. So the main thing that I do buy at the Albert Heijn is usually plant-based products just because I haven't found any good quality ones in the different places that I shop. And so I usually go for all pro products and that's usually where I pick those up. The Albert Heijn is for sure much more convenient because it has everything in one place and the quality is always consistent, which is not always the case for uh, products that you buy at the farmer's market. But at the same time, if you are looking to save up some cents here and there and really get your budget nice and slim, then I do recommend going to the different places that I mentioned in the case that they are nearby and available. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this and honestly, good luck with your first week. I'm sure that you're gonna do great. If you keep on with these tips that I've mentioned, your budget will be skinny, a skinny budget. Okay, take care, stay safe, social distance, bye!